Hi guys. So um, I wanted to do this video about um, dating and why I don't do it. <laughs> um, I'm not a fan. Um, when you have grown up with a like living with a chronic illness for like basically your entire life um it's just not you i'm just not secure in myself so um i have a lot of insecurities i have like a lot of things that i don't find like sexy about myself or whatever so like <clears throat> it's hard trying to to date people and like people aren't really open to like understanding people just you know they they want what they want um and they if somebody likes you <laughs> they don't really want to deal with the fact that you insecure about something like they might see it as something that is endearing or whatever but you see it as something that you're insecure about I've had a lot of surgeries and I have a lot of scars and I've accepted my scars like now I'm to the point where I feel like my scars are beautiful I love them um the only thing is like with me having my last surgery um now I have <clears throat> Now I have this bag and I know all of the the things that that people think about like stuff like that. Um and then too, even if like somebody else doesn't think anything about it or whatever, or they claim not to or whatever, um it's just something that I'm insecure about like <laughs> how would I have sex with somebody with this bag on my stomach um I don't I don't want to do it I don't want to open myself up like that I don't want to be vulnerable like that I don't want to be vulnerable with my body or anything like that especially with somebody who um like it would take time like it would take time for you to get to know me for me to develop a trust with you for me to know that you're not going to just dispose of me like so many people have in my past or whatever like i i don't <laughs> i don't do it i just i just don't date <laughs> um so that's life with that's my life with like my ostomy and how I feel. Um, it's not, it's just, I don't know, me not feeling secure enough in myself and then not having anyone or feeling like there's anyone out there to who would be accepting of me and like my illness because like I've been sick for so long and I have to go to the hospital and I have to do so many things. Um, it's like I'm an old person in a young person's body. Like I have all these issues and things and most people aren't um, open to that. Most people, um, really won't know what it feels like to be ill and to care about people who are ill until they get older and then they're going to be like oh oh you do need people like you do need people to love you and you do need people to be there for you but i got it young so you know and people don't care <laughs> about nothing that don't concern them. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, and I've had to learn that through, like, losing friends and things like that. Um, people just don't care about an issue when it's not them. Um, the biggest, the most important thing for me 
was for like my friends to come and visit me in the hospital because I've had to deal with this disease for so long and I've had to deal with it alone. So having a chronic illness for me is just a bunch of sadness, loneliness, depression, and, and art. Um, <laughs> I think the only thing that brings me solace is my art. So that's what I'm going to date <laughs> for the rest of my life. Um, and yeah, sad story, bro, but <laughs> it is what it is. So yeah, I don't date. Don't want to date. Don't want to deal with it. Um, so, single for life. And that's it. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good one. Hope y'all have good lives. Hope y'all flourish in y'all relationships. Um, and, yeah, I can only wish good to everybody else. Ain't that how it go? Like, you don't wish good for yourself, but you wish good for everybody else. I wish good for myself, too, in terms of, like, career and things like that. But, um, I've never been, I've never been good at dating. And I'm not good with, like, people either. Um, so, yeah. And normally people don't really even understand me or care to understand me, so... Yeah, it's hard, like, going throughout life feeling like you're just disposable to people and that nobody really cares if you're going to be here or not. Um, but that's my truth. Thanks for watching.